It's 935 KDACC and Romeo. Yeah. I'm excited about this one because you know I'm a huge Nate Dogg fan. Mm-hmm. I love me some Nate Dogg. We all do. Yeah, and we got his son in here in the studio right now. Give it up for Inhale, baby. What yes. Up? What's going on with y'all, man? I'm happy to be here. Hey, I just saw you, what, a couple weeks ago, Observatory? Oh, yeah, kicking it with uh, my uncles and the dog pound and uh, DJ Quick. Yeah, man, good time. Yeah. Good time, you know? oh, Said yeah. his name, the place went crazy, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Listen, you should be excited to be here because this is your daddy's station. This oh, yeah. is his for station. For real, for Definitely, real. Man. We listen, love Nate Dogg I listen here. to 935 almost every day, and it's rolling with, with his tracks. I'm thinking, like, man, we need, like... A personal Nate Dog radio station. You know, <laughs> right? His songs are being played throughout the day, every day. And I'm like, man, I love that. Yeah. Just keep him when, alive. When you, when you, like, or when you're in the car, you're on the, you know, 101 or 4 or 5 and, or the 10 and you're in your, in your whip and you hear Nate Dog on K-Day, like, do you sit back and be like, dang, this pops? Like, does this still trip you out or you're just so used to his music at, by oh, this? Oh, no, nah, it tripped me out. I, I still got to turn it up, you know, it's, you yeah. know. Every day, I'm I'm still riding like it's it's the day it dropped. Yes, Definitely. King of Hooks, man. To this day, man. <laughs> yeah, nobody can take his place. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Nobody mm-hmm. can take God's place. Now we want to talk to you because you guys did something really, really amazing uh, recently. You guys uh, gave your father a new headstone, correct? Yeah. Can we talk about that? Um. Yeah. It was uh provided by a uh, cemetery Tom, I believe his name was. The yeah, same cemetery dude. Tom does a lot uh-huh, of good work. Man, same dude that did uh, Easy Ease. Um, right. Uh, work and um, he uh, reached out to uh, to my uncle and he wanted you know to provide that for us. He felt like um, the one before that you know wasn't you know what it should be. So um, he he did that for us. Uh, we set we set a scheduled day for everybody to come and you know enjoy that uh, little ceremony and you know we did it. And when you first saw it, I just want like when they when they unveiled it to you, uh, what was your emotions that ran that? Because it's important. That's your dad. You know. Yeah, I mean. It was uh, emotional, but it was since there was so many people there, I couldn't really, you know, let it all out. I had to, you know, be the son that's, you know, been uh, holding it down for, you know, however long I've been here. So, but uh, when I'm uh, by myself, sometimes it's, you know, I just think about it like, you know, that's that's just pretty dope. And, you know, he really was, you know, something to uh, not just me, but to the world. And that kind of helps me to this day, you know, with, you know, just everything. I know um, I was watching back on Daz's page on Instagram. That's the homie right there. Uh, was that Nate's mom that was speaking on mm-hmm. there? Yes. And and I got choked up. You know, of course, she was just talking about like, how he was watching the Ten Commandments, like mm-hmm. things he was doing in his last days, preparing himself. Yeah, I don't, I, I'm not sure if most know, but um, on his, uh, like before, you know, those days, uh, he actually had, um, uh, uh, um, he was um, trying to get a choir. So um he uh, he was looking uh, to do something called the Nate Praise where he was having uh, auditions oh, throughout wow. uh you know local cities Inglewood Long Beach uh, Compton and uh, you know your singers would just come in you know lay lay their vocals down and you know if if, if there was something that he was looking for you know mm-hmm. they would you know come on and he was looking to build that and actually start making a gospel album you know things like that sort just getting you know getting his roots out there where he came from because he's like real. He came from the church, you know. My mother, his, my grandpa on his side is um is a priest, so mm-hmm. that was something he really focused on, like towards the end. Man, and is that something that he instilled in you, in you guys as well? Um, uh, sort of, kind of, but I got that on both ends from my grandma on my mom's side, you know, on, on that side. But um, definitely, um, it was uh, he, I was never around, you know, a lot a lot of things just because you know he knew you know not to have you know his, his kids around certain stuff. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, do what is one of your 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 favorite stories that or your memories of your dad or maybe a story somebody told you because you know my dad passed away uh, when I was young and and sometimes like I do I m- I remember a lot but um, I also love to hear when my family tells me stories of my dad and it just makes me feel a little closer to him things that I didn't know yeah yeah is there anything that they've told you that you're like oh my god I mean, for real pops yeah I mean yeah to this day and it's something that I I got in me um. Especially with uh with my generation, we got a the designer and all these you know these these top brands going on and everybody wearing these clothes. But my pops, he he you know he was who he was, but he was still shopping in the in the um, swap meets, you know the local t-shirt store. You could catch him in a, <laughs> wow. in a pro club with a bandana and, and you know right at the local liquor store. So me, I don't man, if, if I'm in a rush, I go to the local liquor store, give me a white tee, you know, put on some white socks. I got some all, I got some white Air Forces on now. I get that's it from right. him. That's all he wore. So that's, that's dope. How I, you know, I took that from him. And it's cool to you know have your designer and all that, but. I like to just keep it, you know, where I come from, and keep it classic. One story that I remember hearing about Nate Dogg recently is that they said that Nate Dogg did not play when it came to his money. Oh yeah. Yeah, they were like, he didn't care who you were. The mm. money, had, the, the money had to be right, and that's what it was. I mean, he, 
I mean, he's what I, from what I heard, he's making a hundred thousand a feature. So <laughs> if, if you want to get giving that up, then yeah, I mean, I'm not working with you if you was my friend. You know, if I've been no matter it's who you business. are, yeah, right? No at that who point, you are, it was, it's business. At that and you point, know what you're gonna get. Yeah, and, and that's why um, he did a lot of features with those um, those artists across um, on the East Coast. So, you know, those guys because. You know, it wasn't no question with what with them paying, you know, and what, what his mm. work was worth. So, yeah. Wow, I man, he blessed a lot of tracks. And yeah. I had the opportunity, man, to meet your dad a couple of times. One time, Powerhouse, back in the day, for Up and Smoke. And he was just in the hallway, quiet, rocking the bandana, mm-hmm. just like you said. But when he gets on stage, just when he opens his mouth and starts singing, man, he captivates like life. everyone. Yeah. You know what gets me every time I think of Nate Dog? Nobody. Like, uh-huh. that's the hook that just <laughs> plays. As soon as you say Nate Dog, I, I that hear that in right my there. head. I can't even hear that one. Really? Yeah. That's a tough one. Nah, yeah. I can't even hear that song. It's a, it's a few, but that right there, nah. Mm. We got we got to we got to change that. Mm-hmm. Can we talk about um the shop because I see on your Instagram, make sure you guys follow him at inhale 7. It's n h a l e 7, but you have something called Hell by Nate Dog. It's a shop. Is it it's a shop? Yeah, that's that's a, um that's an online store. I'm uh, I'm just building uh, you know, just myself until a few companies, you know, want to help, you know, build the brand up but until you know something that i think is uh worthy enough with my you know with my dad's name and brand um i'm just you know running it by myself independently but it's all exclusive uh merchandise all um i got great great graphic designers we got a great uh product coming up it's just you know we taking it slow right now it's just a logo and you know basic products you know t-shirts sw- sweaters hoodies but you know we're gonna turn it up coming summertime and spring Oh, we gotta definitely represent for oh, that yeah, too. Yeah. You gotta slide us some oh, shirts yeah, so we can represent I here. I should have brought you some. Don't even get, worry yeah, about it. We family. Something. You're gonna be yeah. back up here again. No Always. No You're yes. You know where we no, at. It's sure. easy to come through, man. So congratulations on this move yes. right here. Um, I just think it's so amazing what they all did, man, for your dad over there oh, because yeah. his name will live on forever. Yeah, we know that for a fact. You know. Yeah, most definitely. You know. And uh, also, I do my uh, my own music too, man. I yeah, you have a a, me, a, a single, right? Dollar Bill. Uh huh, man. And uh, it's going up, man. And uh, I know I'm, I'm a pop son, but I want to, you know, I got my own story. So we trying to get get in a little bit of that, and also hold down, you know, my right. pop's name and that brand there. Okay. Do you feel like as an artist, though, like, I mean, listen, like your dad was, you know, on yeah. this West Coast pedestal. And yeah. um, I know that you guys experience as his children the love because yeah. the love that Nate Dog gets, it pours on to you guys because yeah. you're the closest thing to him right now that we have, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So but do you also feel like maybe it weighs on your shoulders because you're like, oh, they're going to think, you know, I don't want to compare have them compare me to my dad. Does that ever come into play? Um. Sometimes it did, but I actually was having this talk with my brother uh, last night because uh, he's supposed to be here with me. Shout out to uh, Lil Nate. That's my older brother. <laughs> yes. Yeah. He was supposed to be here with me, but we was having this talk and, uh, you know, just saying how, you know, you know, we, 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 we are we our own men now. So we got we, we got to stand for ourselves and, you know, you know, and, and, and you know, but he, he kind of put it to me as if, you know, we are we, we still are daddy's kids you know mm-hmm. so even if you know we may not want to you know sound like him or not try to you know do this do that that's still our pop so we still got to stand on that and if that's what we sound like then so be it but yeah. you know we're not going in the in, in the in the in the booth trying to you know hit his you know I'm, I'm, but don't get me wrong i'm studying you know what he you know what he did and lay down but like you said like he he's on his pedestal and i don't want people to ever think i'm trying to come and you know do what he did i want to you know right. y'all want to acknowledge that and and, and you know and and salute to that, and then I want to tell my side of the story. You know why I'm his son, and why you know, and how that was. Yeah. Oh you man, you gotta do that. Yeah, now definitely. for the KD listeners, have you or will you do a record where it may feature your dad on the hook? Oh yeah. Oh, that's we dope. Already, that's a great we, question. Yeah, we we already got that in the works from that to unreleased records to you know to, to that's see you know that's we got dope. yeah. And are definitely. you and your brother gonna do something together? Yeah, we yeah we started off you know that way, and uh, he just you know like I said we just been growing up you know he got his kids and all that so. I'm trying to get him to come, you know, he he see what's going on. So I'm trying to get him to step out a little bit more and come, you know, you know, come just trust the process with me, man. That's all. Yeah. When when people meet you and they're like, yo, that's Nate Dog's son, do they try to like rap your you rap the songs and sing the sing the songs your dad sang? I mean, you know, some I'm sure some, they do. Yeah. They're like, wait a minute, I'm a fan. Let yeah, me show you. Some, yes. I, but I but I love that type of stuff because it helped me, you know, because <laughs> because it, it just helped me with, you know, certain stuff that I can make deal with and you know and just be thinking I may have, be having like a, a whatever day and somebody could come up to me and be like you know whatever this and that and, then, and it might just brighten my day up a little bit so you yes. know it's just helpful yeah I mean, listen, I mean, you guys definitely got to represent for your dad. Looking at you, you look just like him. You know what I'm saying? It, it, <laughs> get, it's a been, trip been, to me. I've been getting that a lot. I've been yeah. That a lot, yeah. That's amazing. Um, I want to ask, I, I never got a chance like you, Romeo, to meet Nate Dogg. Um, 
what was his demeanor like? Funny, cool, serious, smooth cat. When I you met know? him, he was chill. Maybe yeah. because it was before showtime, he literally been in the hallway. Hey, what's up, Ron? And but he, it wasn't a conversation time because it was business. Mm -hmm. But obviously, with you, it's totally different. Like I, mean, I, I, I know a lot of sides, so it's just it, it's. I mean, yeah, I, I know a lot. It's just re human, regular person, you know. Yeah. All emotions. You was know? it jokester? Like. Yeah, definitely. I mean, in the house, we play video games almost every day, all day. Me, him, and my brother, and wow. it, it was it was a song. I, I mean, I song a game out. It was called a uh, Soul Calm, and everybody was on it from uh, Snoop to Fred Rec to uh, Warren G. So, and we was just the kids on it at the time, but. All throughout the day, that was like where he would get all his laughs out, and you know, call his, you know, you know what they see now, you know, just you know, just game talking. It was that's where I seen a lot of energy in him come out at. And oh. and does um you know because your dad you know he ran with Snoop and corrupt and mm -hmm. all of, do they do they come around and and do they try to guide you because you are Nate Dogg's? I mean, not so much a guy because um I've been growing up to be a yeah you gotta let you know let, you gotta let him be their own man. At some yeah, point. I understand yeah. that, mm -hmm. but um. Growing up, they definitely were in my life. I played for Snoop's football team my whole life, coming up until like uh, Pop Warner. So he was—he's more of a coach to me in, in in the football world than he is Snoop Dogg to me. So um, definitely and corrupt and uh, the dog pound Warren G to this day. If I need, to, if I want to go to a show, you know, I'm you know, I go to Will Call, you know, get it, boom, boom, show some love, and, and it's been like that for. We got to see you at Crush Groove 2020. Yeah. Oh yeah, I've been to a few though. I just you know just didn't know you guys like that, but I've been to a few just okay. in the back kicking it. Yeah. yeah, but now yeah, and now then you I'm see us. Well, and, uh, yeah, yeah. We now we see, family. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're in the back kicking it at this one. Oh, nah, nah, we bring y'all nah. on stage. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nah, we're, we're bringing like, uh, yeah. you nah, coming out on stage with nah, us. Come on. Nah, because if the dog, is Dog Pound gonna be there? Yep. Yeah. Because yeah. if Dog Pound don't, uh, then they bring me out. Then I would love for y'all to. But no, they, yeah, they've been bringing me out later to perform that. That they will bring you out, and you can introduce Dog Pound. I'm just saying. I'm saying we throw it out there in the air. How it can happen. Yeah, oh man, listen, I think it's beautiful. Can you please tell everybody um, where your father is laid to rest at so they can go and pay their respects and take flowers and, and all that, please? Yeah, he's um at the Forest Line in Long Beach, California. It's uh on Atlantic, right off the 710. Um, it's not going to be hard to find. Um, just ask anybody in there if you're there, you know, where's Nate Dogg, and I'm sure they will know. Right. Um, and I want to coordinate something um, at a later date where we can all talk, where we do something and we show up, you know, K-Day with the vehicles and we invite K-Day Nation to come and, 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 and give him. celebrate his life. Yeah, and celebrate his life in the memory of who he is and bring flowers, you oh, know, yeah, if you guys are dope. willing and open to that. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure uh, my uncles and grandmas and, you know, the people above me and the family will be will love that right there. So right, because I just... saw the video that's been circulating on Instagram. Shout out mm -hmm. to Guap City Productions. Um <laughs> But uh, yeah, your uh, grandmother, his mom shared the memories, and it was mm -hmm. kind of cool to see her sit there and share memories yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, him. especially because she's she's that's rare you could get her on camera. So that's some, <laughs> that's some legendary footage right there. So yeah, I mean, definitely we can however you guys want to do it. So let them know where they can follow you at, and please, KD Nation, support. You guys got to support the shop too. Make sure you guys go ahead and grab some gear. Yeah, man, follow me on Instagram at inhale seven. Follow the shop at a hell by Nate Dog with two G's. Also, man, follow my big brother. He's not here, but yeah, follow him. Lil Nate Dog two one three. Definitely gotta do that. Yeah, man. and yeah. really quick, can we just touch base on on your new music, really quick? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, it's a new single, Dollar Bill. Once again, uh, producer. His name is uh, L Fingers. He uh he produced Sugar Free's latest album called uh, Resurrection. And um, mm -hmm. I heard um I heard a few records on there, and I had to reach out to him, and um he blessed me with one, and um. Yeah, it's out. You can look it up on YouTube. You can go to my Instagram. It's the link in my Instagram. Inhale Dollar Bill. It's doing numbers right now, man. Don't be, don't be late, man. Be first. Yeah, make sure you guys check it out. And you know Romeo can sing too. Oh yeah, he oh, can. Man, he man. can't sing. <laughs> he can sing. Well, he, he, I was. I was toasted, man, at the uh, observatory. But uh -huh. I was singing. Me and Quick was out there putting <laughs> on the show. Oh yeah, because you know, corrupt. He could go on and on with 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 the party, man, and with, with man, the pre show. All oh day, yeah, man. we had uh -huh. a good time out there, man. I'm looking forward to getting you on stage, man. Yeah, Matter but fact, I would like for you to be in the studio with him so I could be there. Oh well, we can. can I get in there too? Damn, I want to just be there and be like, hey, let's do it. <laughs> Hey, man, thank you again for stopping by. No problem. Blessings to you and the family. And like I said, we're all family because, hey, it ain't a hit if Nate don't spit. You know what I mean? Yeah, yes, exactly. Sir. And, yes, and just so you know, we love your dad and we honor him every single day. Yep. And, um, man, we are just so proud of you guys for representing who he was to the West Coast because he's so important to us to this day. Yes, ma'am. I appreciate that.